is in everything. And he is the everlasting sovereign. And he is the all knowing and all seeing sovereign king. And the all powerful sovereign one. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 to 17, friends, we all should be giving thanks to he, whom is the everlasting sovereign king and whom is the heavenly father, and also whom is the holy one, and whom was the creator whom have made us, and whom have called us to be partakers of his holy kingdom, and also whom has given us an invitation into his holy new age Jerusalem. And also to be able to be partakers of his eeusness, and also ease free gift of everlasting life and also an invitation into ease everlasting kingdom with peace and tranquility and also with abundance. And whom have given to us an inheritance in ease glorious kingdom as kings and priests, and also as a royal nation. And to be emanated by Eeluhimi whom is the light, and the glory of Eeluya, whom is the odd. And also whom is Eeluya, the sun and whom has delivered us from Satan's power and from Shaitan's darkness, and whom has translated us from out of Shaitan's prison and also his entrapment, and into his holy kingdom, and also to be an heir of Elohimi, the Son, and also whom have resurrected us, and welcome us into his holy kingdom, and also into his holy habitation, and in whom we all have redemption through his blood, and also ease forgiveness through ease love and grace and mercy and also through ease loving kindness and also through ease tender mercies. And in whom we all have being given ease forgiveness and atonement for our sins, and whom is he, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Angel. And whom is the odd of all glory? And the odd whom is Ottoman. And also whom is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Angel whom is the seven holy emanation of Elohim, and whom is Eaman and Eluya, and Eluya, and whom was born in his image, and whom became a, whom is the Saviour, Eluya, and the Eluhim, and whom is the Holy One, whom is also the Invisible, Eluhim, and whom is the firstborn of every creature, and by whom were all things created, and even whom is the Sovereign King and the Creator of his Olam, which is the entirety of his heavens, the galaxies, and universe, the entirety of the outer space. And also of all those that are ease, and of all things which are in ease heavens, and also ease earth. And even of all those things which are visible, and also those things which cannot be seen by our naked eyes, and whether they are visible or invisible. And whether they are thrones, and dominions, and principalities, and powers, and whether these things were made and created by, e Eluhimi, and also for Eluhimi because they are all ease. And it is because he existed before all things, and because he, was the odd. And the first man whom was he Aaman. And also whom became Eluya and he Eluya and also it is because of he whom is the odd, and also he Eluhim whom is the creator of all things even those of those things which was made and which were created and which have consisted because of he. Hallelujah Eluya. Praise ye the Holy One whom is the sovereign creator, and whom is the owner and the sovereign king of all things that are in his world and also of all living organisms and beings and also all creatures in his heavens and his earth. Friends he is the host of all, and he is whom is the creator of all things. And whom is the author and originator of all that are in his olam. And also all who are is in his world. And also of all and of all things, and of all that are in ease heavens and also of all whom have ever lived and whom have existed under ease heaven, and also in the earth. Friends, he is eeus, and his eeusness is in everything. And the e Elohim whom is the odd of the e Hebrews, and also whom is e Abraham sovereign king, and whose holy sacred names are also eeus. And he, he's in everything and also his eeusness can be found in his handiworks. And also ease eeusness and greatness can be seen in everything and also everywhere. And also in the eeus letters that are in ease alphabets. And also in all the alphabets and abjuads in the world. And also ease eeusness is in everyone and in everything that is in ease heavens and that is in ease earth. And e can be seen even in ease eeus letters that are in ease English alphabet and also the e English language which consist of all of Ezeus letters and also Ezeusness. My friends, he, 
E is the odd of E Abraham and E Yudah and also E Israel. And E is the sovereign one whom is the word, and whom has created words and speech and all the languages that are in E's world. And it was E whom created and made a difference between all the other languages that are being spoken in E's world. And it was E whom created all the different nation them. And whom was the sovereign one whom created the border of all the nation them. And furthermore it was E whom was the first man in E's creation. And not Adam. And it was E whom created the first woman, called Eve. And Eve was the mother of all whom ever lived. And Eve is the mother of all humans that were born in the beginning of E's world because they were born from Eve. Whom was first created by E Elohim E, the odd whom is the sovereign E Elohim. And whom was the first man in E's creation. And whom is the beginning of everything. Friends, E is in everything. And E is the creator of everything. And without E, there wouldn't be anything made. Because it was E whom created everything and whom was the sovereign one whom created all things. That was made. And all the things that were created by E Elohim E. My friends God is the evil one, and whom is the evil spirit, and whom created evil and chaos and corruption and confusion and death and deception and deceit and also condemnation. And it is because of God real whom is better known as God and Shaitan and Ibli and Shaitan and Satan and Ibli and the deceiver. That we all now needs redemption and salvation and forgiveness for our sins. And this is why this world is the way that it is. Because God is the corrupter of everything. And whom is known as Shaitan and also the deceiver of this world. Friends, he is the odd of all whom are in his heavens and also his earth. Hallelujah. Praise ye the odd. Friends he is the odd. And he is the most high because he is above all whom is in the heavens and the earth. And he is above all lords, and also he is also above all the gods, and all that are in his world. Even the thirty thousand gods that are being worshipped within the many different latri in his world. And God is the evil one behind all the different latri, even those starting from A to Z, from Arborolatry to Zoolatry. And which is the worshipping of the tree gods. And to anthropolatry and genealogy the worshipping of humans being both men and women. And as the gods and deities and the goddesses that are out there. And to zoolatry, which is the worshipping of animals, and to symbolatry, which is the worshipping of symbols. And also to topolatry which is the worshipping of many places that are revere and that are considered holy places in the world. Friends, the worship of Eluhimi is highly recommend. And because there is salvation in his name. And because he is the odd of all the heavens and the earth. And because he is the Almighty One and the Almighty. And whom is the odd whom we all should give praise and worship. Because praises is comely to Eluhimi. Hallelujah Eluyah. Praise ye the odd. Yada ye Eluyah. Friends the sacred holy name of E or Ye, means one, and because, E, is the name of the Holy One. And also because he is whom is the first man, and the last man whom is the only one. Whom is holy e, and whose name is actually named holy e, and also the odd, and also the almighty e. Hallelujah. And because he is sovereign creator whom created everything. And because he is whom was the creator whom is e Christ and the Christ. And the King of Kings and the King of Glory, and the King of Arms and whom is, Ottoman, and also the King of Awe, and also Awesomeness, and whom is E Ottoman, the Holy One whose Shekinah and Glory is resembling E's light of the Sun, because E's countenance E's a light, and because of E's glorious Shekinah of E's glory, Hallelujah, praise E the odd, and friends, E, E's the Sun, and the light of E's world. And also the light for all those whom are in E's holy city. Which E's holy E Jerusalem. And E's holy E Mount Zion. And which is the holy habitation of Elohim E. Whom E's the odd. And whom E's the sovereign king of E's world. And also E's Olam. Hallelujah Elu Elu Yah. Yada E Elu Yah. 
Praise ye the odd. Halal e Ayaman. Friends, so these are just a few points to consider, and some of the reasons why we all should want to embrace e, and e Eluya and e Eluhimi who means the odd of e Abraham and e Yudah and also e Israel. Because e is alive and e exist, and e, is the odd. And because e, is the sovereign king of all. And also because e is e Eluya, whom came down from ease heaven to redeem us and to reconcile us and to bring us ease salvation, and also ease forgiveness for all of our sins. Thank you, Eeluya. Praise ye the odd. Halal Eeluhim Eeluya. Praise ye. Praise ye the odd. Halal Eeluya. Friends, he is the sovereign king whom is also coming back to ease earth. And to establish ease holy kingdom in ease world. And friends we would soon be seeing Eeluya whom is the king of kings. So my friends he, is the word. Odd. And the number one. And also the Yud in the e Hebrews alphabet. And which is the holy designation for the sacred holy name of Eeluhim. Whom is the odd. And also the sovereign king of E Abraham and E Yudah and also E Israel. And also whom is the sovereign king of all E's heavens and E's earth. And friends, E, E's Eeus, and E's Eeus letter are the vowels and the consonants letters what consist in every alphabet, and which makes up every word and also which are the in every letter. And also which is in every word and also in every name. And which is in everything. My friends E, He's omnicompetent and also omnipotent and also omnibenevolent and he's also omniscient and more. And also his eeusness is universally seen, as the number and the word which is called one. And also his sovereignty is recognized universally as the heavenly father, and whom he's the creator of all, and whom he's the creator of everything. Because he is the sovereign king and also the sovereign judge, whom shall judge everyone because he, he's above all. And because he, he's above all gods, and also all lords. Because he is the king of kings and sovereign one whom he's over all lords. And friends, it's because the worshipping of God is called idolomancy and also idolatry. And also the worshipping of the Lord Jesus and also the Lord Shiva is also known as lordolatry. And also the worshipping of Jesus on tree is arborolatry. The worshipping of any tree god is arborolatry. Friends I can go on and on and still many people would not see the deception of God and the deceitfulness of Jesus and also the many latri. And the deception that is in the many religions and also the error that is in the Bible and also the many so-called holy books. But today I am praying that your eyes may be open. And that you'll somehow see through the lies, and also the blasphemies of all the Jesuits. And also the deception of God and Jesus and also the error that is in the world, and with the latri and their bibliolatry, and that the the Bibles and also the other so sacred holy book have being used by shaitan to deceive us, and also to ensnare us, and that the Bible is not the holy e, Bible, but it is the word of God, and this is why it should be called the wicked Bible, because God Godreal is also known as shaitan, and also the deceiver, and also our archfiend, and whom is the enemy of all mankind. But E Elohim, whom is the sovereign king of the E Hebrews people have warned us not to let no man shaitan deceive us. Here is the quote, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3, Do not let no man shaitan deceive you by any means, because the day shall come, when shaitan and the Jesuits them shall come. And there shall be a falling away from E's gospel. Which is the true, gospel. And that Shaitan whom is called God and Jesus whom is his, they are the men of sin that would be revealed, as the Antichrist and also the sons of perdition. So my friends, let us guard our hearts and minds and also our souls. Because Shaitan and also the Jesuits and their latri have already come. And their latri have already taken effect. And this is what we are seeing in the world. And this is why there is apostasy in the world, and also in the apostate churches, the universal church, which was prophesied to come in the last days. But friends now we all know the truth, that Shaitan is the god of this world, and that Jesus is his son, 
and that they are the deceivers that are in ease world. And also they are the sons of perdition. And also that we can only overcome Shaitan and also Jesus and their latrine and also their names by us truly rejecting them and by us believing in ease sacred holy names. And by us embracing ye, whom the odd. And whom is the Holy One. And whom is the true Christ. And whom is the creator of everything. Because of ease easiness which consist in everything. Thank you. Friends to learn more about E and E Eluya and E Eluhimi who means the odd. And also who means the Almighty E. And who means soon coming back by himself to set up E's holy kingdom in E's world. And also to rule E's world in righteousness. So let's be ready. So in conclusion, friends, E, E's the number one, and E consist in all things. And E E's letters are in E's alphabet which complete and which consist and construct and also which compile all words and all speech and languages. And also the numbers. And also all the numbers that contains the number one. And he, he's the first man in his creation. Whom is the sovereign one, whom is the holy one, and whom is odd, and he is the light of the world, the sun. Because he elu is the awesome one whom is he ayaman, which is he, Glorious Shekinah which is emanating from E, whom is resembling E, whom is E, the Sun. And E Elohim E is the star. The one. Whom is starring in all the major roles. And E is the producer and author and designer. And E is also the word, Odd, and also the sovereign one, the king whom is Odd by all whom is in E's holy E Jerusalem. And also E's holy kingdom and also E's holy habitation. Friends, E, E's the life, and E is the giver of lights and life. And E is the creator of all mankind. And the holy angels, the cherubs and E's archangels, and E's seraphim, E's six-winged angels, and also E's two-winged and four-winged messengers. And also all the other angels which consist of E's entire heavenly hosts. My friends, E, He's omnicompetent and omnipotent and also omnibenevolent, and he is also omniscient and also he is all sufficient, and he is all powerful. And might and wisdom is inexorable and unceasing. And this is why he is the sovereign, whom he is our salvation and also our redeemer. And it is because he's easiness, and also because of his greatness and his sovereignty, and also because of his righteousness and because of his attributes which are immense and unfathomable and also because of ease love and wealth and wisdom and power and might which is inexorable. Halal e Elohim e Eluya. Praise ye the odd. And friends this is why e is in everything and even why e is the sovereign king and also the odd. And also the almighty e, Halal e Eluya. Thank you. Friends would you now please consider embracing e, whom is the odd. And would you now embrace e Elohim e. Then would you please follow me online and also by checking out my messages on my YouTube and also my Rumble channel? There would be a link at the end of this message, my Rumble channel, HTTP my YouTube channel, thank you. The end. To be continued.